everyone. I'm doing a get ready with me today. Um, you will be seeing this face. So yeah, let's get on to my get ready. I am not an expert at all, honestly. So this is probably not that great a video. But if you want to see me get ready for the day slash night out, let's do this Ooh. thing. Okay, so here we go. Let's get into this. I have literally no makeup on right now. I feel very different because I've never been on camera without zero makeup on. So as you know, I am no professional at this. This is just my everyday, I'd say. And I'm just going to kind of amp it up a little bit since I'm going out tonight. I'm not going to do too much of a crazy smoke yet because I do have a shirt with studs on it, so I feel like that kind of bounces out. I'm using all natural light, by the way. I hope this goes well. I'm just going to go through this day by day. I'll speed up sometimes. I'll talk sometimes. So let's get started. And if I go out and focus and focus a lot, I have a very small focal field. So if you can see, I go back, I'm already out of focus. If I go up front too much, I'm out of focus. So I'm working with a very, very tiny um, focal point. So forgive me on that. The first thing I always do is always put my hair up in a headband because I like to keep my hair away from my face. So the first thing I'm using is my moisturizer, which I use for simple. I will be looking down here because my mirror is down here. Like I said, I um, this is just what I do. So am I an expert at all? Not at all. This is just what I do and what I like. Moisturizer on my neck because, trust me, I'm in my 20s now, but I won't be in my 20s forever. And I want to keep that thing looking decent. <laughs> and after that, I let that sit for like a 30 seconds or so. Then I'm going to use my Bare Minerals Prime Time. I just use one small scoop and then I just kind of dab it. I'm all about dabbing, if you can see. Luckily, today I don't have too many blemishes. I have very, I have not that great of skin, if you can tell. It's just. Ugh, it's not so much splotches, it's just I break out quite often. I want to cover up, I think I have like a couple, I don't have too much. I'm surprised honestly, I'm actually pretty happy. So I'm going to be working with two concealers today. One for my under eyes is going to be the um, CoverGirl and Olay one. And the one for my blemishes is going to be the Sonia Kashuk one. I'm so used to doing book videos. This is a whole new element for me. It's quite frightening. Bare Minerals Original. And I just tap a little, this is my method, I tap a little bit into the cap and then I'm going to use my Kabuki brush and swirl it in there, tap off access, because guess what, there's always access. And I like to buff everywhere. So I've been watching a ton of Once Upon a Time on Netflix. What happened originally was, is that I watched season one about a couple years ago, I think, and um, I said I wasn't going to watch season two as it aired because I was already watching way too many shows. Um, so I said, I'm just going to wait until um, the season ends and it comes out on Netflix and then I'm going to catch up on it. Well, they just released it a couple weeks ago and instead of marathoning it, I planned, this was my pull, that was my plan. I was going to um, watch it every day at the gym, at my gym, an episode a day at the gym. Well, that was going good for like three days. And then the other day, I watched a really good episode of the gym, and I was like, I think I'm just going to have to go and watch it. And I watched like seven episodes. Don't you hate that when you have plans? What I love about this foundation is that I don't feel like it cakes on. I feel like my, it's almost my natural skin. That's what I feel like. Honestly, like when I have it on. I feel like I like that. I like that. But I feel like my natural skin. I don't want to completely change my my color tone and all that kind of stuff. I want to be as natural as possible. So that's that's personally what I like. A lot of people like doing putting a whole face of um, liquid foundation on. I just can't do that. So what I use to set it all is my L'Oreal True Match, and this is in I believe it's Creamy Natural, and I just have one of the Equal Tools um, brushes. Just swirl it in there. like when I have when I have a full face of just foundation powder kind of concealer like it's very natural I think it looked natural to me it does um what I'm going to use now is my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray I want to set this all in so I'm just going to do it in an X and kind of let that sit on there now what I like to do next not this is just my particular ways I like to go to eyes next I don't know why I like to reserve blush for last I don't know I'm going to use my primer I have the Fergie Wet n Wild one love this stuff this stuff will stay on I'm just going to put a little dab on there the only thing I do not like about it is it's somewhat tacky when you put it on. Like it feels kind of sticky, but it's not a huge like um, no-no or it's not a huge thing for me to 
just hate it. Like, I don't hate it for that. So for my look today, I'm going for a somewhat smoky eye, not so much smoky eye. We'll see. I haven't really planned it out. I'm going to be using my Rockstar palette by Balm, by Balm. It's called Balm Jovi for some reason. And then for a single eyeshadow, I'm just going to be using this Mica one. I got in my glam bag. It is in, it's a shimmer powder. So it might, I might be for eyes. I like to use it for eyes. And it's in bronze. I'm using a very, very tiny flat shader brush. And... We'll do close-ups. I'm going to be putting this color right here, uh, Eligio. See my dog, Colleen. Colleen, there she is. She looks so out of focus. There she comes. Hi, Colleen. Bye. Using a different flat shader brush, and I'm gonna go in with this color. Ooh, so hard. Allegrio, right here. I'm gonna use this kind of somewhat on my crease a little bit. Just, a, just. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how beauty gurus do it. Honestly, it's a hard job. I'm going to take one of my favorite shades out of this whole palette right here. It's Alice Cooper. I'm just going to be using a fluffy crease brush. I guess that's the way to describe it. Alice Cooper looks like a purple, but to me it goes on more brown, honestly. That's just my feeling. I might have gotten a lot brighter for that. I apologize. <laughs> hopefully it did. Or hopefully it did not, but whatever. We're just going to have to go with it. Now I'm going to be taking a little bit of uh, this color right here, which is Presto, which is kind of a darker, I would say like, maybe like a charcoal brown. Does that make sense? I'm going to be pointing it in, I'm going to be putting it in the outermost corner of my eye. Sorry if it gets bright. I apologize, but I have to have this light on because I cannot see. I'm going to get a fluffy brush, gosh, a fluffy brush, and going back to that color I first started with, Allegrio, or Agio, and putting it in my brow bone area, just to soften it up, get the colors a little bit better. You want that soft touch into it. For the last step, I'm going to be using the Mica Beauty one, and it's, ugh, I love this stuff. It's so shimmery, and I like shimmer sometimes, and... Today, I like it. I'm gonna be taking just a flat shader brush, get a little bit, a little bit of stuff goes a long way. Tap it off for sure. And I'm gonna put it all over my lid. I just love the look it gives. It gives this pretty glittery, sparkly type of bronzy effect. I am going to be back with my other eye completed and we can, we'll continue on. Welcome back. We are done with the eyes for the most part for the eyeshadows. So I feel weird. This probably looks terrible, but who knows? Using my Liquid eyeliner, I'm using the Be A Bombshell, I got my glam bag forever ago, it's like a pen format, I love it, very thick, I feel like I have more control, I'm just going to um, line my upper lash, I'm not going to go too thick, hopefully not, we'll see. I didn't fear myself, the truth must be told. To do it looks too intense, I just take a smudger brush and kind of smudge it out. Kind of um, just loosen up a little bit. This stuff sets super fast. So. I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On pencil, and this is in the shade Zero, I think. Yeah. And me water, um, doing my water line with it. And then after that, I'm going to take that same smudger brush and I'm going to go in with that same color, Alice Copper, and kind of go with my eye, my eyeliner at the bottom and kind of just put that in there. Her eye makeup never looks complete, I've learned, without a mascara. And I wish I say I was using eyelash color, but I'm not. Shame on me. I'm using the Prestige My Black Lashes. It's a very volumizing uh, mascara. So if you want volumizing, this is, this is your mascara. Go. That is a completed eye look. Let's move on to blush. So the first thing I'm going to use is my cheek stain, which is by City Color. Another thing I got from um, my Glam Bag. Show, go show you. I do use the stuff on there. And what I'm going to do is dot it in a little bit right here on the apples on my cheek. <laughs> now I'm looking at the monitor. That's a big no-no. And then I'm just going to use my ring finger and kind of blend it all out. Trust me, 
cream blushes are just amazing. They will really set and help your makeup stay all day. And after that, I'm going to use my bronzer. And I don't do any contour. I just like to highlight my face. I'm using my Physicians Formula and just a small tapered blush. brush. And I'm going to do the complimentary, you know, what do they call that? The duck face? I don't know. I haven't done that forever. Take down my nose. They even say if you want to contour your nose, you can just do that. I have a big nose. I, I embrace it, honestly. That's what I was born with. I'm going to be taking my blush, which I have Frat Boy by the Bomb. I love the Bomb, if you can't tell. And then, this is very pigmented, so dip it in there twice and you are good to go. And just smile and put it on your cheeks. Smiling is a definite helper for blush. And hey, if you are running out and you don't have any blush in it, just pinch your cheeks. Instant rosiness. And then after that, I'm just going to take my Urban Decay again and do that in the Fashionable X. Let that all kind of sit on there. And there you have it. This is the finished makeup look. I call this look every day. You can use it for maybe a night out. That's what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm no expert at all. If you guys want more Get Ready With Me videos or any type of tutorials, let me know. I feel like this was terrible, honestly. <laughs> but, you know, whatever, whatever. That's how it is. Anyway, have a great rest of your day. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.